Mathieu. Here we go, here we go. Hurry up.
Welcome. Welcome, dear friends and young people here, dear sisters who are connected online and members of the Pauline family. We are celebrating our century with a global youth play. Yeah. Sister Lisa from Colombia, Sister Christine from Italy, welcome to this event. We are thrilled. It is a joy to be here. Well, we are in an event because we are living our 100 years from our foundation. We had a lot of meetings on a local and continental level. And today, that we are approaching the feast of our founder, the Global Day for Youth, we celebrate a global day. Without further ado, our Superior General will now give her welcome to each and every one of you. Mr. Bernadette, please turn on your microphone. Thank you. Dear young people, members of the Pauline family, brothers, sisters, and dear cooperators, friends of this is the master who join us in all the areas of the world. But each and every one of you welcome to this global online youth gathering. I would like to express my deep gratitude to Jesus because he brought us together as one big family. This event is crucial because it is an invitation to praise and to express our gratitude for our congregation in the Jubilee year of the centenary and today through you dear young people i confirm that we continue to build history together i can imagine the richness that each of you brings to their own culture on a personal and continental level I thank all the participants from five continents, Africa, America, Asia, Europe, and Oceania. 
A new salute I would like to greet the early young members of the pastoral vocational ministry and to the young people on different levels of formation, aspirants, pastorants, novices, and juniors. I would like to greet also all brothers and sisters who, with a youthful spirit and heart, live their continuous formation. We are here to share, to celebrate and live the precious gift of our life in the footsteps of Jesus. Every member is protagonist of this event that is a space that allows us to contribute to unity and peace in our world that is so in need of this gift. Carrying out this meeting in November is very significant because it is a month that we began with all our saints out of the church and of the Pauline family. Secondly, it is a month that invites us to remember the true homeland which awaits us with our dear brothers and sisters who have preceded us in heaven, leaving us a beautiful testimony of life and fidelity to the vocation and mission. As we know, tomorrow, November 26th, we will recall the birth in heaven of the founder, Gilles Giacomo Alberione. Our founder is a man of God who was able to be guided by the action of the Holy Spirit from childhood. At the age of seven, it became aware of his location, saying, I want to become a priest. And from that very moment, he oriented his whole life towards that choice. As a young seminarian, I heard the crown of God. I called to do something for men and women of his time, and in obedience to God, he planted a wonderful Halloween family with the richness of its charisms for the benefit of all humanity. Arriving at this world meet meeting means having gone through some stages. First, our local meetings, our continental meetings, and then this world meeting. Each of these meetings was guided with a skillful itinerary in three important moments, listening, welcoming, and announce. These three words have certainly challenged your life, awakened dreams in you, it opened you to new experiences, but above all, I think that they have led you to discover the meaning of your life, starting from the main encounter with the person of Jesus, his way, truth, and life. That month here in Brown, we experienced a very important event in the church, the Synod of Bishops. I would like to share with you a brief thought came from the homily of Pope Francis on the closing day. At the end of this of the path that we've journeyed. It is important to contemplate the principle and foundation that let everything begins and everything re-begins. Yeah. 
loving God with our whole life or loving our neighbor as ourselves. Not our strategies. It is not about human calculation. It is not about fashions. Loving God and the neighbor this is the center of everything. But how do we translate this impulse of love? I suggest two words, two verbs, says the pull, two movements of the heart. Two movements of the heart where I would like to reflect on worship and serving, loving God through worship and through service. I hope invites us again. Let us dedicate time every day to intimacy with Jesus, the good shepherd, in front of the tabernacle, worship. And how beautiful it will be if after this world meeting we will be all witnesses, messengers, heralds, a new life, so total free and generous service to others. As the young people to conclude by expressing my gratitude to each sister of the commission of the sanctuary. Thank you, sister. Anita, for your dear coordination. Thank you, Sister Paula, for your work. And I would like to thank also all the sisters who have been a point of reference in every constituency of our five continents. Dear sisters and young people, thank you for your hard work and dedication on this synodal journey that you have traveled and of which I am sure you can learn a lot. I send you my best wishes through this joyous encounter with my heart, Sister Bernadita Meras, General Superior. Thank you very much, sister. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for your lovely message, for what you said. It is lovely what you said, truly. Thank you from the bottom of our heart. And I would like to stress a few bullets. You said a very important thing through you, dear young people. I wish to confirm that we will will continue to build history. We will continue to build history together. I can imagine the richness of every culture on a personal and continental level. Thank you, Esther. Thank you very much for recalling our past. Thank you very much. It was a very Thank you. So we now continue with our global event. This richness, this team, this cultural richness is crucial. Now we will go through the greetings of our young members. A lot of joy, a lot of enthusiasm. Let's go through these greetings that are so very special.
Juniors of the Pierce Disciples of the Divine Master, we are in Rome to prepare for perpetual vows. We want to give, send you our greeting. We are in Ukraine and we are very happy to greet you and to be part of this meeting. Thank you for your kind invitation and we wish you a fruitful, fruitful work and a good meeting. Thank you. Bye bye. Hello, how are you? Hello, blessings. Hello, I am Aishim. I suppose we say good morning, good night, and a pleasure to say goodbye. Hello. In Argentina, we greet each other like this. Hello. Also like this. What? <laughs> Ciao. Ciao. Hi. Buongiorno. Good morning. Buon pomeriggio. Good afternoon. Buonasera. Good evening. Buonanotte. Good night. Ciao, ciao. Bye. Hola, hola. Espero que estén muy bien. Hello, I hope El día you de are hoy. well. Un We want to greet you. We want to greet all the sisters. Thank you very much. We wish to greet you in uh, Ecuador and throughout the world. We always go forth with our vocation. Hello, my name is Ann and my name is Michael. We are from Vietnam. I only proclaim I saw the Lord. I live our years at the very most. Hello from Seoul. We are Korean novices. It's nice to see you.
I wish you a nice meeting together. Karen, thank you very much. Lisa, we went throughout the world. It was lovely. Thank you. It was very special. Thank you. With these greetings, we could start our global event, but we can now to a few witnesses who can help us share our faith and the experience that we lived to prepare for this meeting on a local and tintal level. It is important for us to do on the joy of following the footsteps of Jesus. This moment of the testimony is crucial. It is very special. And so we wish to invite you to take the QR code. We received it beforehand. And with this code, we are all invited to share a word, a word from the bottom of our heart. When we can a word of joy, a word of love. With this heart, throughout the meeting, you can share thoughts. We are waiting for your story. Then you will have a cloud of words. Now we can start with our journey, Lisa. The what continent we wish to go up in Africa and we greet all the sisters, the members of the Pauline family that are connected from Kinshasa, Kingole, Kiwenza and Bumbaji, Brazzaville, and from Burkina Faso. Hello and welcome. The community of Waga can start with the video so we can send the greetings on behalf of the whole African continent. Burkina Faso. Please turn on your microphone. Okay. Ciao. Okay. Ciao. Oh, come you have prepared well. The microphone, please. Non vi sentiamo. We cannot hear from you. Okay. Ecco. Very well. Oh, it is so nice to be to see so many young people present in our gathering. Very nice. Hello. But now, since we said that we've got a few witnesses, we, we can now listen to the first one in Kinshasa in the Republic of Congo. Because over there we have got a shizbu, a young Pauling, um, who will share his testimony. Please turn on your microphone. Um, brother Bjorkos, I am a religious, a poly religious of the region of Congo. I am preparing a master in uh, biblical theology and I am in charge of the um, Pande booklet. I am part of the community of San Pablo de Kisasha. I was 11 when I started uh, going to a Pauline library close by. I went there to read books and to find books that were necessary for school. I didn't know that there was a congregation that was taking care of the library. In 2013, it was a focal day for my life. After a deep reflection, I decided to embrace a religious life today. I figured that if I look at my past among um, lights and darkness, I can see me lose the strength of our Lord. In this year we are preparing to celebrate the centenary of our congregation and I believe that it is an important opportunity for me to revise my vocation. 
in particular, it is an opportunity for me to probe into my colleagues um, and the presence of my congregation in the church. It is an itinerary of faith for me. Carried out participating in different activities of the uh, congregation in Congo with seminars and other activities. Thank you very much. Thank you for your dear testimony, Lisa. Going to a library, he discovered that he, in his life he could find something more. It is marvelous. And I was thinking that he helps us understand that in daily life, Jesus can call us. And this is true. He manifested it in the experience of his life. And it is important to recall that following the footsteps of Jesus mean being with him. Now, Lisa, since we listened from a scene, we can take a look at the sharing of these events in Africa. So, we are now prepared to listen and watch the sharings from Africa. in the footsteps of Jesus as women of the gospel welcome and proclaim what we can tell you in a pre precise and concise way and what has emerged in our various local and continental meetings is that, first of all, even if we come from different cultures, cordiality has reigned among us, members of the same congregation, members of the same religious family. The Divine Master has brought us together, and this has been expressed through the enthusiasm of each and every one of us to transmit our values, which are also Christian values for our young people through initiatives. We would like to share the joy transmitting these values and above our uh, feeling pious disciples of the Divine Master, what a source of pride. Well, we need an active participation an effective and powerful way of young people, whether they are young people information or young people outside or young sisters, everyone with heart and soul has contributed to the success of our various meetings and we understood that young people really need to be heard, welcomed, accompanied and encouraged. Our, our coherent life totally dedicated to God. And what we see is that the young people from different religious denominations, Protestants, Muslims, are committed and happy to have embraced our values that are fundamental in a social life. That they have discovered the pious disciples are in this great growing family. Here are these sketches we made about listening, welcoming, and announcing. I know it the different experiences lead and shared the sense of responsibility, the joy in the exchanges, the responsibility, the joy of our different meetings. All of these fruits not only push us to move forward in our mission, but invite and encourage us to a persevering, persevering fidelity to follow the Divine Master. I would like to thank our superiors and the organization team to give us this opportunity. Thank you to each and every one of you for your kindness and dedication. 
courage and perseverance to young people. Good luck on your way to the centenary of the foundation. Young leaders, the pious disciples of the Divine Master. Thank you. Lovely. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you for stressing values or responsibility to correct. May we would like to say thank you to the African and to all the participants. Thank you very much for this lovely witness. Thank you for the experience. Now, Christine, we move forward with our journey throughout the world. Yes. We go to America. Let's go to America. We wish to greet every member of Argentina, Brazil, Colombia, Ecuador, Chile, Mexico, United States, Venezuela. Hello, Christina. We invite our novices of the South of Brazil to share these things. Uh, Please turn on your microphone. Your welcome. Welcome. Please turn on your video and microphone. I'm sure you are prepared. Yeah. I see them. They are all connected from America as they carried out a lovely work. And uh, we had a not very nice opportunity all together. And please recall these three stages. Annuncio. Welcoming, listening, and announcing. There was a lot of wisdom that we could leave. In particular, it was important for us to leave life. And these three words were helpful to unite us. It was lovely for us to feel that we were journeying together through these words. Very well. So we are all present here and we wish to greet Webra uh, Brito. Webra Brito, she is in Brazil, in Brazil. Uh, lovely uh, country. Deborah, please uh, turn on your bike. Uh, Deborah Brito, you uh, live in the city of Brasilia, in the central region of Brazil. I greet with joy all the young people who are in different parts of the world and who participate in this moment of encounter, sharing and fraternity. I greet the Superior General Sister Benedita Marotella, the Sisters of the General Council, and with them I embrace all the pious sisters who celebrated the centenary of their foundation. I wish to continue talking about my experience of faith as a Christian and Paul Incorporated, holding a short text written by Earth. Simochu Kennedy Giacardo in his diary on September 30th, 1918. Earth does what committed to doing good with special offerings, offers, special prayers, offers, work, right. Will be zealous as many as you can. 30 years from now, you will understand the importance of what I said tonight. 30 years from now. So, I begin my mission as a pulling cooperator and 
uh, the divine master. So I even understand this girl. As a child, I have always been a very talkative and communicative person. I grew up in a very much family with two brothers and my parents. We lived with grandparents, uncles and cousins. In the same environment, I participated in cut classes from an early age and at the age of 13, I began to assist the catechists of my community at the age of 15, officially after Convis confirmation. I became a catechist. I also joined the group of musical and youth ministry in my church. I spent the whole day in the church. And at the same time, my parents got married in the church, beginning the conversion of our entire family. I started a relationship with a young man in the same period, and we spent 11 beautiful years of relationship together between dating and engagement. We organized our house, we prepared life to build our long-awaited family, but God's plans were different in mid-2009. We received the news that no one would like to see my great love, a life partner was diagnosed with cancer. We were very afraid, and we also had the hope that everything would be resolved. Once suddenly another Another piece of news, a dear cousin dies of cancer in the prime years of his youth. Sometime later, an uncle who had not been, he had not been seen for a long time dies by suicide. Another one from a disease contracted by a bacteria that made it by pigeons. The losses only increased. Even two dear friends died of cancer. It seems that this was the word of the day. Something common. Pain was inevitable. But the ter tears dried. And I just saw how life went in the midst of this whirlwind back in forth from the hospital to accompany my boyfriend throughout this process. And alternating that activity with the university I was in an administration course and I didn't even know if I was going to pass or complete my degree because my school work was also carried out my work was also was not a priority in that moment. My friends helped me. In twenty eleven my boyfriend died. And I shall say that with him, he died also a life of dreams and ideals. Then I literally hit rock bottom when they lowered the coffin. I closed myself to everything, to the world. Lose the mark on my face, remember. It was I did want to forget what I lived with my dear boyfriend. No, I started over after a few years with a new job, a new church, a new friend, but in the middle of the world that seemed normal, I got sick and I found myself in, in, at the hospital. I always had seizures and hemorrhagic crisis due to endometriosis. So I was living in hospitals, taking medication and the sadness behind the smile. We started to show stronger. The doctor said that he would have to undergo a new surgery, not complex, because my intestine had was adhered to the uterus and I could yell not be uh, solved in a simple way. Then once again, my first granddaughter was born and the light returned. It was so small when I was able to meet her just a week later because I was recovering. It gave me a new perspective on life and a love so great that I didn't even realize it when I was about to undergo the second surgery. I talked to God and I asked for a light to change my life and asked for healing to take care of my little girl. A dear friend took care of me and referred me to an excellent doctor and I found myself with the best doctors in Brazil and a specialist in DOR and the same week this friend also died. In the meantime, I also lost my grandparents and death has become a routine in my life. This time I had someone to fight for and I asked God to give me strength. I was in and out 
of church groups, I rebelled, left. But he always looked near us whenever we go. Oh, yes, it was my rock, and it was the only group I didn't leave until today. And formation. I met Sister Mitra Grasa, disciple of the Divine Master, who invited me to go to Sending Mass for. Mi sono operata, sono migliorata e grazie a Dio. centenary of the cooperators, I had surgery, I was cured, and I had felt the faith in God, I was cured. Not of the disease, because it, it is chronic, but for God, nothing is impossible. My second nephew was brought, and the sadness in my smile dissolved even more, and to make my heart even happier, God gave me another granddaughter. Um, they call a love trial, Maria Clara, Hitler, and Eloisa. The sentence at the beginning of uh, the text struck me hard in my heart since the very first meeting of the uh, defense in Sao Paulo. The beautiful national meeting of the copywriters was an opportunity for me to feel the love for my nephews. And I shall say that. The energy I felt was so strong during the mass for our lady of a parasita. My life changed. The communication came stronger and the cloud only grew. grew. Then I found myself in the national communication of fans. I saw myself in a journalism school and today I am a journalist with a master's degree in digital marketing. I work in communication and I manage social networks and uh, some private company companies. I continue working in catechism and pastoral works. I am a catechist of the Eucharist in my community of Brazilian affection. I also help in catechetical formation in collaboration with the Pauline District. I became an advisor in the field of communication and catechism. I'm sure I wrote my dear boyfriend into seas for me and lead me more and more towards Catholic communication. I am sure that it is important to awake the world with the light of the gospel. This is my call. I am committed and with the promises made, promises made, I will proclaim the good news more and more and show Jesus as Paul did. I thank the friends and dear sisters who have welcomed me with so much love to touch me to give a meaning and reason for living and proclaiming, in addition to understanding um, that in 30 years' time you will understand the importance of what I told you tonight, um, 13 years from now, everything will make sense. <laughs> ecco. Microfono? Ok. Ok. <laughs> Ciao, che bello. Ciao. Ciao. Grazie Thank mille. Thank you very much. It is a pleasure to see you. It is lovely to be in communion with the whole world. Thank you for your greetings and Christine. Could a experience from America really an itinerary that was prepared? Hola, buenas. Soy Andrea, Hello, I am Andrea. I participated in the meeting of Argentina and the Continental One. For me, these meetings were significant because they felt both of welcome, resurrection and mission as faithful disciples and women of the gospel. Hello. My name is Arthur, I am a seminarian, a part of the pilgrims of hope from the parish of Our Lady of Hope in Sao Paulo. We participated in an occasion of the century, and for us a strong word is perseverance. Hello, my name is Catalina Rivera from Chile. Don't help me to discover a new friend, Jesus. And I was happy to welcome everyone without distinction of 
and announce it to other people to announce the love of God. Sisters, stop me three important word verbs. Listen, welcome, and announce. Through these three words, I was able to follow in the footsteps of Jesus, the Master, and advance in my Christian life as a witness family. Hi, my name is Elisa Vega. I just wanted to quickly share my experience with the Sisters Disciples of the Divine Master during the Continental and Regional Meeting. It's been a rewarding experience. It's definitely been a privilege to participate and to renew my faith in every aspect of my life. So I want to thank everyone who's been very um, welcoming to us during the sessions. Thank you. Hola, soy Paulina. Hello, my name is Paulina. I'm from Mexico. This meeting helped me see the fraternity that exists between people, the brotherhood. They helped us living the gospel and proclaiming the gospel. God loves me and loves everybody. This meeting helped me particularly to deepen and to strengthen my voice and also to bring the word of God to more young people through teaching, joy, and enthusiasm. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We continue with our path in the world. We've got a surprise. Of course, we've got a special surprise, Christine, that resonates in our heart. People said, God loves me. God helps me find a reason in life. And the surprise is that the young people, the information throughout the world, they prepared a video in which they will explain what, what this is about when we say that we follow the footsteps of Jesus. In the footsteps of Jesus means that we are united and we support each other to me, following Jesus is to be sure that my calling, the vocational terms, is about trusting Him. He is my shelter. I follow Jesus and I put my trust in Him, persevering in His grace and in His love. And for you, Damour? My call is a product of love. It is a story of love. It is interesting, but it's also a mystery. It is a gift to, that we shall preserve. We shall live together in responsibility as women of the Gospels. It is the way in which we live the faith of God in Him. It is following about following His footsteps. And I use my life with the others. I am committed with trust. I offer myself and I am committed to be a soul aware of hope and forgiveness. I shall live and give Christ to the world. For me, following Jesus means to live a life that is not brave. I say yes to the love of Jesus, to the love of Jesus. I am called to a life on land with trust. I follow the footsteps of Jesus. I am with you. You belong to me. I mean, following Jesus means that I am em I embraced by his love every day, every night. For me, it means that I am listening to his word and for my life as disciple. His love is a transformation for myself, but and I would address his invitation to do what he did in the Last Supper as he was by feet. We shall wash 
your soul was the feet of the others, and I want that to serve my brothers and sisters in my past. This Kuala Christi, to me, it is about a continued growth in love. I wish to serve God and the humankind to fulfill His will. Thank you very much. Thank you. The young people information. Thank you for sending these videos relating to following the footsteps of Jesus. We will have all the other moments to hear from youth, young people throughout the world. But now, if there are a cloud of words, Lisa, let's see how they are answering. Yes, we've got a few words already. Now we shall think about us what you are experiencing in living this moment together. That word that you feel that is in your heart. You've got time during the event. Of course, well, it's very significant. Let's continue with our journey throughout the world. We will go to do two different continents. Let's see where are we supposed to go here. We are in Asia and we will go to Australia. We will have the greetings of all the continents from Asia, Oceania, India, Korea, Australia. I hope I didn't forget any country. Now we will receive the greetings of the community of Australia. My sir, I think uh, this is how you pronounce it, Christina. We can jump to India. We can jump to India. Ecco, bravo. benissimo, da misura eravamo, wow. abbiamo, wow. Veramente abbiamo veramente girato il mondo, girato il mondo. We e adesso the world. And now arriviamo we go a to Sydney, Sydney in Australia, perché lì ascolteremo we la testimonianza di Josh. Josh. Spero che si I hope così. that I pronounced it in the proper way. Di Josh, che si collega con noi da Sydney. Hello. Yes. Eccoci, yes. benvenuto, <laughs> thank Dash. you very much, <laughs> ascoltiamo la sua testimonianza. Uh, a testimony uh, participating in World of Day Lisbon 2023. Arise, go in haste. My name is Joshua Salt. Uh, also known as Josh, just to be easy. I am 30 years old from the Kingdom of Toma, currently residing in Australia. I am number six of nine kids, with both parents divorced and remarried. Mom remarried and went to a different church. Dad remarried as well and stayed devoted as a Catholic. My siblings and I were all raised up in the Catholic Church. I am a gay man who have been since little after blaming unfortunate abuses as a child and ever since have battled with this for a very long time. But for obvious turn of events, I think of Jesus every day and has guided my ways until now. 
I'm in Australia with my family to be with my mom. And well, all I can say is the openness of Australia has pushed me away from Jesus. My struggles have tripled. My lifestyle got worse. Partying and work were prioritized more than going to mass. I only go to church if there's an event for the Tongan youth, uh, Catholic youth. One night I hit, I hit the peak of my frustration and stress from the world, from my family and all the crazy things in life. I was in my room crying out to Jesus, please, please help me. I need you, Jesus. Please help me. In the dead silence of night, I kept quiet, thinking that I would receive some kind of sign or a reply from Jesus, but nothing. The next thing I knew, I was in my car, driving to church, and this was around 2 a.m. Now I'm thinking clearly, and at the top of my voice, screaming to our church building of all the frustrations I've been dealing with at the moment, thinking that Jesus is standing there listening to me. After a few minutes of screaming and crying, I went silent hoping to get some sort of reply to ease me and still nothing. So I'm back on to get some sleep. It was announced by our youth president that that same week was the last week for the World Youth Day re registration and our route was the footsteps of Jesus, meaning that we are going through via the Holy Land. The first thing that came to me was, if you can't hear me in my room and you can't hear me at church, you will definitely hear me in Israel. Then I registered joining the Archdiocese of Sydney. I got to Israel and I thought, Jesus is here somewhere. And I can kind of felt it too. We went through the footsteps of Jesus into the main places of the Holy Land and still nothing. I can feel some type of feeling entering these places, but I wanted more. I wanted to for him. I wanted to conversate with him. We got off our bus to enter Mount Olives, the Garden of Gethsemane, and the overwhelming feeling struck me as tears started pouring from my eyes. Everyone from our group had entered, and it took me some time to try and enter, as I had never felt so unworthy. My bus leader assumed to what I was feeling and she held my hand waiting for me to catch my breath and entered. I cried so much. It's a freaking picture of the events of Jesus that took place in the very spot. He was betrayed here and he felt the agony of the world here. I walked inside the Basilica of Agony for Mass. The whole world, the whole time I felt sad and heavy confusion, and we were given some time after Mass to pray at the bedrock altar. And as soon as I knelt down and touched the bedrock, I lost it. I silently cried like I've ever cried before. My mind was blank. I can't even think of anything. And within a minute or so, everything that clouded me, frustrated and stressed me at the moment, left it. I stood up from the bedrock feeling light. In frame. 
I felt forgiven. I felt touched by grace. My prayers were answered. And hurriedly. And standing at the door and looked back inside saying, Thank you, Jesus. The rest of the trip was very fulfilling and is still overwhelmed up to now. And I left my heart in Israel. Or to call Lisbon. World is Day started and the joy of millions of participants from all over the world were everywhere. Such devout Catholics. These millions really arose and gathered with haste. My highlight at Lisbon was to sleep out, to sleep out night. It was time for adoration, and the noise of these million of people suddenly went dead silent. It was the most holy I've experienced. Everyone felt the presence of God. And being a crybaby, I had silently said to Jesus, How much more awesome can you be? Many hands bowed their way towards the Eucharist presented to us. Like just, wow, God, you are here. The tongues of different languages were praising and worshipping God. What you call Fatima. Our final, desti- our final destination for World Youth Day and wished we went back and started again. The night we had the procession was heartwarming and truth be said, the love for Mary was here. She was here. She appeared here at this very place. I had thought of had the Fatima movie while we were at the sanctuary. And those people were gathered here to really witness Marcia, Francisco, and Lucinda speaking with Mary. How amazing it is that she had chosen to appear to these kids. Yeah. And since her, since her last visit, I looked at many people. That place is still being visited by many every day to break. It was sad to leave, but we had left with hearts full of love. I had never stopped sharing my ignorances since we landed back home. And at the start of the World Youth Day, and at the start of my journey, I had never attended so many Mass in my life. And it was every day. It was truly a blessing. Jesus has always been by my side, always listening. It was just a matter of listening back to him. Thank you very much. God bless. Grazie a te, Josh. Thank you, Josh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Alla vigilia della giornata mondiale della gioventù di Mari, talking di Cristo Re, about the Global Day of Youth, and we had a gift, una testimonianza molto, molto significativa. A gift of a testimony who was truly significant. It is important in this moment, we know that Joss went to Jerusalem, it is a path of peace in a moment of war. His path was a path of reconciliation. Thank you, Josh, for sharing it. Thank you very much. You teach us that we are human beings and these tears, these feelings, a very deep because the hand of God touched your heart and this is an invitation for us George thank you for being open and for what you offered we are men women touched by God 
Mare. And Islam can transform us and we can live in a continuous conversion. Thank you, Lisa. Now we take a look to the cloud of words we heard about a lot of people and we have seen what words were said. It is important the feelings, emotions. It is marvelous, truly. Mamma mia! How many words? Allegria, amor, joy, love, fraternity, emotion, meeting, yes, here I am, gratitude, union. Thank you very much, we can read them all, but thank you very much for this cloud, it was very significant to read. Then we can try and listen to the sharing of the youth who participated in the local and continental meetings of Asia and Oceania. Right? Let's go. This has instilled in me a deep longing and desire to follow Jesus more closely. To be a Christian like is to be a person whose behavior and heart reflects Jesus Christ and dwells in him. Now I feel like I'm truly alive. I feel like I'm awakening from no and deep sleep. I believe these are the gifts from the God for answering their calling. Who is Jesus to me? Jesus forgives me, loves me, and takes care of me. If we perceive missionary work as an inherent aspect of faith, we can attain a simpler understanding of it. Thank you very much. Thank you to the participants of Asia, Oceania. Thank you for what you said. Thank you for your experience, Christine. Now we move forward. We go to Europe. Oh, nice. We go to Europe. We've got here a lovely representation of the continent. The European continent. We wish to greet you. We are all present here. Very well. Hello. 
Ciao. Sono Estesilio. Siete il mondo visione. Bello. Bellissimo. Eh. Ah, Bellissimo. Wow. Eh. Okay. Il continente dall'Europa. Il continente dell'Europa eh. will share an experience, vita, testimony of life. Sì. Un very, very special eh. person. Eh. Our novice eh. Becca. She is from eh. Slovakia. And... Leave this to you, Becca. Thank you very much. And please turn on your camera and microphone. We leave the floor to you. And we cannot wait to hear from your life experience. Thank you very much. Hello. As you said, i am Old Becca Strachinova. I am a novice and from Slovakia. I was born and raised in a Christian family as the third of six children. My parents taught us Christian values and also taught us to call God by the name Father. My whole life has been accompanied by music. I was, in fact, from a family of musicians, and even in my profession, I decided to become a violinist. The Lord, when I was 14, gave me a great grace, a full conversion. It was practically a transition from a childish faith to a more conscious faith. God has become for me a close God. God who jewels in my heart, and He is my Father. It was also a moment of healing for me. Yeah. It was brought my first thought about consecrated eyes. I thought that this could be the path of my life. But when I also continued with my studies in music, thanks to my professors, my mates, and my brothers and sisters with whom I collaborated, I could develop the talent of music that the Lord has given to me until I moved to Bruno in Czech Republic, where I graduated in the Music Academy. I played for five years in the Symphony Orchestra of Bruno. At a certain moment of my life, I began to think more seriously about what was going on. I had my family, my job, my friends. Always something I miss. And it was about giving meaning to my life, to leave it for someone, not only for myself. So I asked the Lord what life he dreamed for me. It was a time of more intense prayer. And one day I felt in my heart this invitation from the Lord about consecrated life. When, in summer 2019, I started to ponder con consecration, but since I didn't know any female order, I went to search on internet the congregations in Slovakia what they do, but, um, but truth be told, nothing attracted me, and so I decided to turn off internet and said to the Lord, Lord, if you want me to be a consecrated, consecrated sister, you will find a place for me. And so it was, truly, after two months, on October the 4th, 2019, during the Feast of St. Francis, I met the pious disciples. After that, the sisters told me about their congregation, our founder, our liturgical apostolate, art in the liturgical apostolate. I shall say that my heart began to beat, and I already knew that this was the place that Lord chose for me. 
and then everything was quite fast, really. I entered on February the 2nd, 2020. Today, it is almost four years in the congregation for me, and I must say that I have never regretted leaving the world of music to follow the Master. I am very happy and proud to be a pious disciple and a member of the Pauline family. Certainly, my exclamation has been and always is full of joy, of richness, but also of challenges and difficulties. But I know that it is necessary for my own conversion and to enlarge my heart. Without mancato has never lacked in closeness and consolation after every, tri every trial. He always shown his loyalty. And this is precisely why I am full of hope and courage what he is still prepared for me for the congregation, for the mission of the Pauline family, especially in this tragic period of humanity and in this change of area. Thank you very much. Thank you all. I greet you from the bottom of my heart. I think. Thank you. Grazie. Grazie. di cuore della tua esperienza. Yeah, truly thank you for sharing your experience of life. She is marvelous, truly. Christina, I would like to stress an expression of Betka. She said, God for me is a close God today. A God who lives in my heart is my father. And this is a deep experience will give meaning to her life. Yes, also when she marked that in the most complicated moments, she always felt closeness, proximity of the road. We wish you a good journey, Betka. And now, and now, we've got a beautiful sharing from Europe. Of this is itinerary of listening, welcoming, and announcing. It is a lovely experience, and we invite you to take a look with close attention. Giulia and Rosario Carmelo together we participated in the European meeting of the youths for the preparation of the century of the pious disciples, the words that we have in our heart, independence, welcoming, salvation, love, mer mercy. Bye-bye. Hello, I am Vincenza Miss Emma, sem seminarist, a word that I feel in my heart is welcoming. It is important to embrace the free love of Jesus that uh, is about loving our brothers and sisters. Hello, I am Eleonora, Valentina, Cecilia. Thank you, sisters. Thank you for inviting us to the European gathering of the youth for the century. Welcoming is the key word for us. We would like to share with you our experience of the Continental Meeting. It was a moment of grace. It was a very fruitful moment. And for us, everything went very fast. I am sure that uh, it is a moment in which we discovered something new, the testimony given, given by the youth, by the sisters, the sons. It was marvelous. It was a precious moment that we will treasure in our heart. The Holy Spirit was there and it will be... Uh, always um, the root of our love for Jesus. Uh, the experience was marvelous and forgettable. It, it opens the way to new possibility of encounter. And it is the Holy Spirit who accompanies us every day. The testimonies of the youth were marvelous and 
it is a true testimony of the love to Jesus and a true inspiration. Thank you very much for your prayers. We send you kisses. What I like the most is that even though we are very different, we are from different nations, we are different in different phases of our life, but we shared our experience of God. Thank you very much. Thank you. We had a lovely experience, truly. A lot of that welcoming service, love. Thank you very much for this sharing. And now, Lida, we've got one more surprise, I think. Are you right, Cristina? We've got a lovely surprise. Yes, information. But to share this joy of the vocation, they say, that following in the footsteps of Jesus means? <laughs> Let's see, what does it mean? To mean following in the footsteps of, footsteps of Jesus means? I am Fiorencia, postulant of the Christ Disciples of the Divin of Argentina. To me, it is about for taking the good news of the Gospels through the signs of times alone. I am a mirror of the congregation of the pious disciples, uh, and uh, I am a junior of the Argentine delegation. For me, following in the footsteps of Jesus, it means that we are disciples, and we would like to announce the love of Jesus in our life. For me, following in the footsteps of Jesus is about donation. I believe that it is about listening to his word and journey. Hello, I am Abel Gutierrez, a religious of the Society of São Paulo. And for me, serving in the footsteps of Jesus is about serving with love. Hello, my name is Camilla. I am a pastor and of the pious disciples of the Darwin Master. And for me, following Christ is about being test a testimony of the word of God with the help of prayer. Draw. A sight of love. I am on the Lisa. To me, following in the footsteps of Jesus is about eating myself. Hello, my name is Kaina. And for me, following in the footsteps of Jesus is about help. Hello, I am Pauline, and for me, it, it, is, uh, it is the idea of fulfillment, and in and for me, it is love. I am Catherine, and Halloween the Master, for me, is the nation. For me, to follow Christ is home. For me, to follow Christ is For me, to follow Christ is praise. For me, to follow Christ is praise. For me to follow Christ is life. For me to follow Christ is life. To, uh, uh, Maria Wilson Anderson, a writer, for us following in the footsteps of Jesus is joy and hope, love and service, peace and fraternity. In the course of each new day, his divine plans and his graces are always being. If I can let go of my own way, I won't experience the divine way. But this is what I am striving to do. To let go and let Christ be my own. Hello, my name is Dorothea. I'm a novice of the second year. For me, uh, following the footsteps of Jesus is about following the words of Jesus, of word, of God. I am living happy because I received a lot of love in the framework of the Pauline family and this gives me joy and I share it with my sisters. I learned that this is a life of love, as Jesus said. For me to follow Christ means leaving behind my loved ones, my family and my country, with love and joy to Christ, who called me by name. It means dying from myself. 
like my pride, my comfort room, and my personal desire in life. To renounce my will, to trust in the formation process, and to leave his teachings by letting go of my biases, preferences, and prejudices. Is to follow him wherever I am called to serve and glorify his name by doing our daily apostolate with passion and joy. To follow Christ is to encounter Him in my daily life and to share this God experience with all His people through my life and mission interested to me and gain my eternal treasure, Jesus. Is to desire continuously for the kingdom of God, experiencing the realm of heaven, walking in the footsteps of Jesus, and to discover the love of God in everyone and in the nature, in the daily events and challenges of life, and serve Him through the specific mission which is entrusted to me. Grazie, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you all for the information. Cristina, we went throughout the world, that continent. Great, you all, we had this marvelous experience. And Christine, I am sure that the testimony, the local continental meetings, there are all signs of Jesus. Jesus said to us, move forward. We are about to wrap up today, but before closing this event, let's take a look to our cloud of earth. Just see the words that we did. It is enormous. It is the sky. It is not the cloud anymore. Very well. Gratitude joy, gift, conversion, glory, Jesus Master, thank you. Sanctity, fraternity, blood is alive, peace, harm. I give. Thank you very much. Thank you for this word. It was very enriching. And now, before clothing, there's a vent in front of Jesus. We would like to go to the church with the sister Maria Joseph. She will introduce us to prayer, talking about a very special woman, a murder of life and a sequela Christi. Then we will go to the church and we will listen to sister Maria Joseph and to attraverso la vita di madre scolastica message that she would like to go, give us
Indeed, the Lord Jesus to cast the light on the whole world through the whole humanity. It is in this church that we see the special presence that got here the address of Mother Scolastica Arrivata. Who is Mother Scolastica? Orsola, che poi diventa Orsola. When her name changes in Scolastica, she was a normal. She loved to have interactions in the parish, at work, and one day, the most beautiful young guy of the um, village wanted her to be her wife. In that moment, she saw that the most beautiful one had already chosen her, Jesus the Master, and she says yes to him, and she became a disciple with the meditation of Blessed uh, Giacomo Brione. She was called to be the one of many, the one of many pious disciples. Ursula, then she changes her name in Scholastica, is a girl who at her yes, she was ready to be close by, to be close to Jesus in good moments, in bad moments, at home and abroad. She learned to say a word, a word then where was the key element of her life. Uh, you are enough. You are the only one and you are enough. I want to follow you and I want to announce your words to each and every member of World Scholastica. How can she understand what Jesus wanted from her in silence, a silence that is a symphony in which the Master in her words to her silence, it is a journey in which she learns also from the Master. She learns to be the one who looks at the world, who takes into account joys and suffering of every man, of every woman, of every continent. The she learns to move forward with bravery. She learns to be as Jesus was, give your life for the others, to the abundance of life in the world. To do that, you have to live a world, a life of communion with the Master in him and for him. And this is nourished with participation to the Eucharist every day, a participation in which we say, Amen, dear Lord, you give me your body. I don't want to be one single thing with you. This Eucharist can be lived throughout the day with the adoration and the steps in front of the Divine Master present in the Eucharist. We can learn the mail that we said yes when we decided to leave the communion and was that so believe every day, every hour every week to be a full presence and irradiation of Jesus in the world. Grazie, thank you very much, Sister. Thank you, Sister Joseph. Thank you. This invitation to live in communion with the Lord, and now we go back to the church to give this last moment of intimacy with the Lord in silence, in front of our Lord, to entrust our intentions to Him. An intention which we all share in this moment is the peace in the world. But I invite you to entrust to Jesus a particular moment, a particular feeling that we are living. It is important for him to cast a light in our, in our humankind, first to find peace. We go back to the church and in silence in front of him. 
we enter in communion with the Lord. Brown Jesus is an experience of recovering joy and Christine. We are now approaching the end of this event. Let's go outside. Surely it is a moment of final greetings and we wish to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you to our Lord for giving us this opportunity to leave the beauty of this event. Thank you, Sister Marit Bernardita, to the sisters of the General Order for this opportunity. Thank you, Sister Annette, and to all the sisters who prepared this event it's very nice uh, this experience of communion that we live together and thank you to all sisters who have been with us to other sisters that maybe didn't hear but they accompanied the event thank you to all the members of the Pauline family we still thank all the young people Information in the Pauline family. I wish to thank also our cooperators of the Divine Master who accompanied us. In particular, we wish to thank the animated at this event and who will be animated in the future. Thank you for being available and thank you to our technicians. They are 
that here and they help us having this moment. Thank you very much. Thank you for this work. And we wish to thank also our dear translators who helped us. It was crucial to have them to mutually understand each other in this global event. Very well. Uh, in our century, we have got a hymn which is lovely, and we invite you to sing with us with joy, with gratitude, our hymn. Miracle to run. Back in your video, your camera. So we can greet each other on a global level. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you and bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye bye. Ciao. Bye bye.
bene, la prossima canzone è scritta da noi, no. nel mentre smontate che fate, è tutto quanto. Sì, la facciamo. No. Traffico di Roma fa uscire una parte di me Troppo vietata ai minori Tu hai tagliato la strada, tua vista e di colpo Spaniti i rumori Hai fatto appena mezzo sorriso e sei partita via E da quel giorno ci provo Quando giro per strada guido apposta di vita Per vederti di nuovo di quanti incroci a una grande città ti cerco tra milioni sei come Italia 1 senza pubblicità quando guarda voi i cartoni io sono una domanda tu sei di standa e un ragazzino dice che siamo vicini a meno più di quanto scrive Google Maps e io ti cercherò dentro l'aria sei quel secondo che precede lento fuoco d'artificio e non lo sa che se arriverà durerà un'eternità dici che non ti hanno mai vista nemmeno una volta la furia di sentirmi parlare ti saprebbero disegnare a te Seccare ogni particolare di ogni tuo colore che mi fa impazzire Mi fa impazzire Con te anche l'impossibile è una banalità Mi chiedo come fai La pista è troppo aleno di Mario Kart senza bestemmiare mai Io sono Padova, sei di Stranda e un ragazzino Dice che siamo vicini a me Non più di quanto lo scrive Google Maps E io ti cercherò Fin dentro l'arnia Seguo il secondo che precede Lento fuoco d'artificio E non lo sa se arriverà Dura un'eternità Dura un'eternità Io sono Padova, tu sei l'Islanda E un ragazzino dice che siamo vicini almeno più di quanto scrive Google Maps E io ti cercherò in dentro un'arnia Seguo il secondo che precede lento fuoco d'artificio E non lo sai se arriverà Dura un'eternità Stando Padova e te Dura un'eternità Stando Padova e te Ciao! Eh sì, che bello. In che lingua devo parlare? Non si può parlare in realtà. Quello che vuole. Va bene, anche la prossima canzone si chiama Cannucce. Eh, se vi puoi fare un'intro più lunga, grazie. Eh, è una canzone a cui teniamo molto, perché parla dell'amicizia della, che ci lega e di quello insomma che ci spinge a suonare per noi, per gli altri e che ci ha portato indirettamente a essere anche qui oggi e quindi siamo felici di farvela sentire.
Noi volevamo entrare invece nelle case degli altri E risuonava sempre il professore oh, C'è un luogo e un momento per tutto Ora no Però spiegatemi quando se non ora Tremerà tutta la piazza e la signora Che uscirà dal balcone sentirà la canzone Forse la ballerà C'è lo spazio per miliardi di persone da chi ha fatto che l'amore è prendere le cannucce agitando le tutte per lanciare magie a prendere le cannucce per lanciare magie noi che da grandi crederemo ai maghi che diranno il tempo ti consuma della vera fortuna ma questa notte ci permette pure di stare scomodi E ribaltati come i trattori in cassa E il luogo e il momento per tutto è questo qua Spiegatemi quando se non ora Tremerà tutta la piazza e la signora Che uscirà dal balcone Sentirà la canzone, forse la ballerà C'è lo spazio per miliardi di persone E impariamo da chi è matto che l'amore Agitando le tutte per lanciare magie Prendere le cannucce per lanciare magie E da fuori si sentirà questo schizzo di libertà Nato dal profumo di un pane preso per tutti e fatto a metà Ci sarà anche chi ci dirà che è leviosa e non leviosa Però noi sogniamo lo stesso, sarà un successo, succederà Però spiegatemi quando se non ora tremerà tutta la piazza E la signora che uscirà dal balcone sentirà la canzone, forse la ballerà E impariamo da chi è matto che l'amore è prendere le cannucce Agitandole tutte per lanciare magie E prendere le cannucce per lanciare magie Salutiamo, vi salutiamo tantissimo, è stato bellissimo essere con voi. Uh, un, come, uh, goodbye, eh? questo lo so dire, ma anche hasta luego, hasta luego e not, uh, or, or war. Uh, Stile Nacht, che in centro però è un'altra cosa. Eh, beh, beh. Okay, è stato un piacere essere qui. Ciao, viva Gesù, buon pranzo. O se siete collegati da un'altra parte del mondo, buona, buona no, have a good night, good morning, good afternoon, buonas noches, buonsoir. Mm. Sí, no hay lingüe.